बसमिल्लिम बसमिल्लर अल्लाम टू आल ऑफ़ यू आई एम नगीना कंवल एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट मलेकुलर कंट्रोल ऑफ नाइट्रेट रिडक्टिस फर्स्टली आई एम वेरी थैंकफुल टू रिस्पेक्टेड सर मुश्ताक साकिब फॉर प्रोवाइडिंग सच अपॉर्चुनिटी एंड इम्प्रूविंग आवर कम्यूनिकेशन स्किल्स लेट्स स्टार्ट आवर टॉपिक इन दिस लेक्चर वी डिस्कस अबाउट असिमिलेशन ऑफ नाइट्रेट दैन we discuss about different enzymes that convert nitrate into different forms of nitrogen these enzymes are nitrate reductase nitrite reductase then we discuss about regulation of nitrate assimilation according to nitrate reductase enzyme and at the end we discuss about ammonia assimilation firstly we discuss about different reactions that takes place in plant and convert nitrate into further forms of nitrogen like nitrite and ammonia nitrate reductase activation is very first step in the utilization of absorbed nitrogen we know that plants absorb or uptake nitrogen in the form of nitrate that is converted into biologically active molecules like amino acids nucleic acids and other nitrogen containing compounds in first step nitrite nitrate is converted into nitrite and the enzyme that convert it is known as nitrate reductase which is also known as nr enzyme this reaction takes place in cytosol that's why it is called cytosolic reaction while in the second step the nitrite is converted into ammonia and the reaction that convert nitrite into ammonia is nitrite reductase that is in short form known as nir enzyme this reaction takes place in plastid that's why it is called plastid reaction in case of cytosolic reaction one molecule of nadph is utilized into nadp positive we know that nadph is work as electron donor and initiate transfer of electrons while in case of plastid reaction we know that it is highly energy requiring step because energy is required we know that in this reaction need for removal of oxygen molecules from the nitrate nitrite and adding hydrogen to the ammonia that's why it is highly energy requiring step we know that in plants two organelles are present which are high energy containing organelles the first is mitochondria which is also called as powerhouse of the cell and the second is chloroplast we know that chlorophylls are present in chloroplast photosynthesis takes place in chloroplast and formation of food is occurs in the form of carbohydrates that's why it is high energy containing organelle chloroplast provides high energy for the formation or conversion of nitrite into ammonia we know that this steps requiring six reducing powers that provide by plastid that's why it is called plastid reaction it's about assimilation of nitrate into nitrite then nitrite into ammonia nitrate reductase enzyme is the key enzyme for nitrogen assimilation in plant cells but it also important enzyme because it is important source of nitric oxides nitric oxides plays two important role in plants first nitric oxides regulate plant growth secondly they create resistance to biotic and abiotic stresses nitrate reductase is responsible for cytosolic reaction in plants during this reaction nitrate utilize nadph and converted into nitrite if we see the structure of nitrate reductase case of eukaryotes nitrate reductase is a dimer the three binding domains whose polypeptide sequences are similar in eukaryotes the first binding domain is fad flavin adenine dinucleotide the second is heme iron and the third is molybdenum cofactor Here CO stands for cofactor not for cobalt means in eukaryotes three binding domains FAD heme iron and molybdenum cofactor have similar polypeptide sequences but in case of 
prokaryotic organisms like blue green algae which is also known as cyanobacteria nitrate ductase is actually a smaller protein because it contain only molybdenum but fad and heme is absent in prokaryotes in case of eukaryotes and adph binds at the fad binding region of each subunit and initiates two electrons transfer from the carboxyl terminus it means at the position of fad or at the domain of fad one molecule of nadph is bind and utilize into nadp plus it initiates the movement of two electrons through the different domains and finally the nitrate is converted into nitrite two structurally flexible hinge region on both sides of heme iron domain connect it with molybdenum rubidium pattern and with the fad domain campbell 1999 a scientist campbell 19 in 1999 gives information that two hinge regions are present on heme iron the first is hinge 1 which is connect the heme iron with the molybdenum cofactor and the second is hinge 2 which connect heme iron with the flavin adenine dinucleotide however nitrate reductase mutants are not always available and the mutant is usually different from the wild type in many other respects for instance tobacco nitrate reductase mutants and wild type often shows differences in sugar and amino acids concentrations or in inorganic ketone and anine concentrations kaise et al 2011 it is cited by kaise in in the year of 2011 that nitrate reductase mutants and wild type nitrate reductase mutants have differences in different compounds concentrations like sugar and amino acids concentrations and in organic ketone and anine concentrations of tobacco plants nitrate reductase deficient mutants of barley a low nitrate reductase activity always coincides with an enhanced nitrite reductase activity it means that in barley when nitrate activity nitrate reductase activity is low it means that nitrite reductase activity is high the regulation of nitrate reductase enzyme is depend on different factors for example phosphorylation as such does not change nitrate reductase activity but binding of a protein 3-3 dimer to the phosphorylation motif it in the presence of magnesium renders nitrate reductase activity it means that phosphorylation directly no effect on nitrate reductase activity but when phosphorylation bind with the protein 14-3-3 dimer in the presence of magnesium it makes nitrate reductase inactive on the other hand light or photosynthesis appears as a major trigger activating nitrate reductase by cell dephosphorylation it means that the activation of or regulation of nitrate reductase depend upon nitrate concentrations light and carbohydrates that is formed by the process of photosynthesis nitrate reductase in higher plants is proposed to be a homodimer with two identical subunits higher plants algae and fungi the nitrate reductase enzyme is actually a homodimer homo means same it means that its subunits or its domains are identical two domains are present that join and held together on the dimer interface domain of molybdenum molybdio pet means that two identical subunits are located at this position between the molybdenum cofactor or molybdenum molybdio pattern and between the hinge one the structure of molybdenum molybdio pattern has been well described hof et al 1992 nitrate reductase or nir is responsible for plastic reaction in previous slide we already learned that plastic reaction is energy requiring step in which nitrite is converted into ammonia nitrite is highly reactive 
and toxic ion plant cells immediately transport nitrite from cytosol to the chloroplast in case of leaf while in case of root nitrite is transport from cytosol to plastids where six reducing power is given by plastid and nitrite is rapidly converted into ammonia or non toxic form now we see the structure of nitrate reductase enzyme nitrate reductase enzyme is consist of two domains the first is friduction binding domain and the second is iron sulfur heme complex the source of electron is reduced friduction and the nitrite is rapidly converted into ammonia nitrite move to plastids and gets converted rapidly to ammonia the source of electron is reduced friduction produced in chloroplast by photosystem 1 in the process of photosynthesis during the process of photosynthesis reduced friduction is formed which is a major source of electrons and then convert nitrite into ammonia nitrite reductase activity slowed down under the low intensity of light because of the lack of available reduced friduction which is partially compensated by pentose phosphate pathway cassie et al 2011 the activity of nitrate reductase or the activity of nitrite reductase is slow when light intensity is low because in low intensity of light reduced friduction does not form that's why nitrite reductase activity is activate by reduced friduction in the absence of reduced friduction the nitrite activity slow down with low nitrite reductase activity the nitrate reductase activity and its de novo synthesis also inhibited when nitrite reductase activity low then the nitrate reductase activity and its synthesis also inhibited plant cells nitrate is low toxic while nitrite is problematic because it is highly toxic nitrate reductase tight control mechanism because it is regulated by light while nitrite reductase is abundant for example if a compound x is converted into compound y and the y compound is converted into z if y compound is toxic then there are two methods to overcome the problem the first is the activity of enzyme 1 is reduced the second is the activity of enzyme 2 is enhanced for the conversion of toxic compound rapidly into non toxic it means that enzyme 1 activity is less active than the enzyme 2 activity the same situation is present in plant cells in the case of nitrate and nitrite concentration there are there are different nitrate transporters are present in plants like nrt1 and nrt2 they transport nitrate to the cell by the same port now nitrate present in the cytosol where nitrate reductase enzyme is present which convert it in the form of nitrite which is highly toxic thus plant cells rapidly transport nitrite to the plastid where nitrite reductase enzyme is present which convert it to ammonia or non toxic form further ammonia is converted into different biologically active molecules like amino acids nucleic acids and other nitrogen containing biomolecules and plant cells have no need of biologically active molecules then the nitrogen is stored in the cells in the form of nitrate plants store nitrate in vacuole and when plants have need of biologically active molecules this nitrate is moved back in the cytosol where nitrate reductase enzyme is converted into nitrite and the process 
further starts. During the process of ammonia assimilation or go-get cycle, the enzyme GS is present. GS stands for glutamine synthase. This enzyme combines glutamate with ammonium and this reaction requires energy in the form of ATP. Then GS enzyme convert them into the glutamine. And other enzyme is present which is GOGAT enzyme. GOGAT stands for glutamine to oxaloglutrate amino transaminase. This enzyme transport amide group of glutamine to the two oxaloglutrate and as a result two molecules of glutamate are formed. Several amino acids are formed from glutamate. And these amino acids are used for buildings of proteins and different nitrogen compounds as well as secondary compounds and metabolites are also formed. That's all about my topic. If you have any question in your mind, you can type it in comment books. Thank you. Allah.